Hello, hello. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, in case we haven't met, my name is Susan Tapley and I am an executive uh, couturier with Chalk Couture. We're an in, I'm an independent designer and I help people make beautiful high-end DIY um, products for their home and for clothing, all kinds of different things. So tonight we are going to do a project that I've been really excited about. I posted a picture a few days ago with a pile of something somethings oh, let me turn my sound off and um, ask what you guys thought I was making so if you haven't figured it out by now we are making some bunnies tonight so okay I think I've got it under control um, if you watched me last night sorry about the technical difficulties we were having but today we are back on track so I'm gonna get my cameras set up and we are going to be ready to roll in just a moment let me get this here this. come on now there we go all right so while you are watching if you would hit that s h a r e tab we call it sprinkling in our industry so please sprinkle this video with your friends and family so that they can see how cool our products are too so if you are ready to go we are ready to get started hello Kathy and Annie welcome welcome um, so we are going to be working with a transfer called Cottontail Farms and you might remember this from last year if you were um, using our chalk products at the time, but it came back for a short time just this week and they sold out really, really quickly. I do have some bundles available, including the transfer. You can read all about that in the description up above, um, as well as if you already have the transfer and just want the cutouts, we can do that too. So I do have the bunny here and we're gonna be using this and we're also gonna be making um, a coordinating piece with this here that says Cottontail Farms and I think we're also going to be using this whoops this carrot there seems to be a piece missing but I must be right here so I got it handy it's right here so that is a layered carrot um, so we're gonna make two different projects tonight so are you ready to get started let's pull this out how you doing everybody? Hi Leslie, I don't know if I said hello to you when you came in. Okay, so we've got our transfers here. These have been used before. Normally I would flip them over right on the back side and I would also do something called fuzzing which is when you have a brand new transfer you want to check the adhesive to see how sticky it is. Some of them are very very sticky and what you do is you would lay the sticky side of the transfer on something that has a little bit of lint on it like a towel or a t-shirt or your jeans and you just put it on and off a few times to soften that adhesive. This has been used before so it's in beautiful condition and if you're ready I'm going to show you these cutouts I've been working hard on. Cindy let me know which bundle you would like. Here is our adorable bunny. I love it so much. I made a dozen. I could couldn't help it they were multiplying like rabbits okay so this is whitewashed um, wood you can wash it with any other color that you want to some people like to have a chocolate brown bunny and that's perfectly okay you can use regular acrylic paint from the craft store or if you have a jar of paint of uh, chalk paste like this water it down and paint with it fun stuff okay so our transfers are reusable as I was saying and um, I can see through this transfer. Now anywhere that you can see the white showing through where the, the wood bunny is, there's a screen that runs through the whole design, which is what is what gives you all of the ability to see. It looks like fur and whiskers. You can see so many, de oops, so many details in this transfer. I'm trying to hold it up close so you can see it better. Um, and that is something you could never get with a, with a stencil. And it's also something I could never paint by hand. So these are awesome and anybody can use them. This doesn't look like it's quite in the right spot. I'm going to play with it a little bit till it feels like it's in the good spot. You can also hold this up to a window or if you have a light box, you can do that too. Let's see how that looks. I'm just going to hold this up to the light. And I can see that his nose is pretty good. Actually, no, I'm going to go up a little bit higher on his back side. Just twist it a little bit further. Cindy, let me know if you want bundle A or B, or what, what did I call them, one and two? I can't remember now. I have uh, kit one and kit two. So kit one includes a cutout of the bunny, the sign, and the reusable transfer. 
and kit number two is just the cutouts that we're going to be using tonight. That looks pretty good. Okay, so once you've got it in the right place, you're just going to rub it down nice and hard. You want to get a nice, get it nice and tight on your wood. And what I'm going to do is take a very small squeegee. This is called a mini squeegee. And just sort of work it across the whole design, making sure there are no bumps, bubbles, or folds in my transfer. Sometimes when you feel a bump, it's just a little piece of dust, and it feels like it's really big. It's just a little tiny thing. But if it's, if it's especially around the edges of your design, if you have a bump there, there's a chance that it's going to bleed underneath it. So make sure you've got this down nice and tight and very smooth. Leslie, your dog is digging at my door. <laughs> okay. All right, so kit number one for Cindy. So as far as the transfers go, I have five of them coming in. And I'm just going to write that down for Cindy. Um, and I think they're all sold out on my website. So if you want one, make sure that you let me know. So I think I'm going to do this bunny in pink. I did take out my gray. It's called storm gray, but I also have peony pink. Peony, peony, whatever you want to call it. So either one of these would look beautiful. You could do it in lavender. You could do it in baby blue. You can do it whatever color you want to. You can have a black and white bunny, which is so on trend right now with the farmhouse look. But I definitely, yes, she does miss you. I definitely wanted it to look the Easter. So we're going to use this color called peony. I don't know really how to say it. I think it depends on where you live. My Jersey friend calls it peone. I call it peony. So I'm right down at the bottom of my jar here, so I'm going to scoop a bunch of that off. If you have never chalked before, this is um, water-soluble chalk. It goes on wet, dries hard in just a few minutes. When you're learning, I want you to use more chalk paste than you think you need because all of the excess paste gets scooped right off and put right back into the jar. So I've got a whole bunch on my squeegee here, and all you need to do is smooth it over the whole design like so. So we are going to decorate both sides of this tonight, which I think is going to be fun. So you can put it, um, you can put it on your table. You could put it on a shelf that you can see both sides of. You can use it in your tri um, What are those tiered trays? Do you guys have those? I think they're pretty fun. I do not have one though. I do have one. I just haven't filled it up. I lied. <laughs> I'm lying on Facebook. All right, so as soon as that whole design is covered, you're gonna go back over the design with your squeegee and squeegee off all of that excess. Make sure you got every speck of that, that screen area um, covered, but then you're gonna take all that extra off and put it right back in your jar. What do you think, you guys? Is this a better view than I had last night? I heard something about um, Facebook not liking the app that I was using. So I was like, well, let me try without it. And I found it was really difficult for me to see what you were seeing and hear, see your comments and all of that at the same time. So bye-bye. We'll try it this way again. All right, so I've got it all scraped off. Now, while it is still wet, I'm going to remove this silk screen transfer. You just peel it back nice and slow. Oh, it's so cute really cute much better view yes yes all right I already got chalk on myself I'm gonna dry this a minute and then I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it a little better definitely okay good to know you guys falling off my cushion here all right so I'm gonna dry this just a little bit this will dry really really quickly but you can also make it dry faster with a hair dryer or a heat tool like this one just keep it moving one of the cool things about using chalk paste is you can actually watch it dry. It goes from shiny to dull really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up close so you can see it a little bit better. All of the detail in there. Isn't that adorable? It would look so cute in so many colors. Really sweet. Okay, we're going to put the bunny aside from now and we're going to work on the next part of this project and then we're going to go back to the bunny and we will um, do the back side. Okay, so yeah, he's so cute. 
All right, so this is the sign that you're going to use the Cottontail Farms on. So I'm going to put Cottontail Farms in the center, and then I'm going to put um, a carrot on either side of the sign. So I think that'll be really cute, a nice little grouping, and it'll, it'll just look really cute side by side, or you can even put the bunny on the top because this is a big, fat, thick slab here. So, Tracy, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. I'm not supposed to say that word. I always forget. Thank you for sprinkling. <laughs> I do appreciate that. So here we go. Let's kind of put that in the center. Right about there. And again, I'm going to grab a squeegee. That is a little closer. How many of you guys have ever had a pet rabbit? Did you have a pet rabbit when you were a child? My sister and brother and I, we had a few. They were fun. I don't think my kids ever had one though. We had, uh, we grew up with dogs, cats, we had chickens. I think that's about it. Uh, my kids grew up with cats and dogs. <laughs> okay, so my plan is to go with Cottontail in the pink, Peony, and I'm gonna do farms in gray. And this is a sign from the truck. I'm, nope, this is not the sign from the truck. I made these bunnies and signs myself. With a little help from my husband. Actually, quite a bit. <laughs> he sets up my cutting machine for me. I do the, I draw the patterns and um, tell him what I want and he sets up my machine and it's kind of tricky, that, that machine, but I'm getting better. Okay, so here we go. I've stirred up my, my storm. That's nice and ready to go. And I'm going to go in and get some of that, more of that peony at the bottom of my jar and on my table now. And I'm just going to smooth this. I'm going to leave it a little bit thick over the word cottontail. I'm not leaving it thin, but I want to leave it thick so that I have enough time to do farms in the storm gray color without it drying before I'm done. So, okay, we'll go in with that storm. Let me see what you were saying, Rose. Do I have the truck? Uh, I do not have the trucks yet. They are available on my website though. Okay, the wood pieces are not ready yet. They are stuck on a slow boat from wherever. They literally are stuck on a boat in a harbor. Okay. So they're both covered, and I'm going to go back in and scrape the gray off of the word farms. Yeah, we were supposed to have those released on the second, but um, they really are. There's a harbor that's clogged up, and it's got all these big trucks full of, uh, full of product that we haven't been able to get to yet. Working on it. Scooping off all the extra pink. Just such a pretty color. Great for Easter and flowers and girly things and baby. All right. Make a little dish here. At least the beginning is a sign from the truck. No, 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 no. Okay. So while that paste is still wet, we're going to remove it from our surface. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. You guys, while you are watching, if you were just popping in, say hello so I know you're here. Hi, Kathy. I miss seeing you come in. You snuck right by me. All right. So the carrots that we're going to do are, is a two-layered carrot. And I'm trying to decide if I should put the darker orange on the top or the bottom. Not quite sure how that would go. Seems to me the lighter part would be on top, but who knows? I guess it doesn't really matter, right? I'm going to dry this up for a second before I do that. And if you think I should put light or dark first, let me know. And I will respect your wishes. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy and Cindy. Darker on the bottom. Okay. 
Thanks, Annie. Annie. I cannot find that red ink anywhere. I have ripped my house apart looking for um, a jar of red ink that I was trying to give to Annie, and I just can't find it anywhere. Darker on the bottom, lower dark. Okay, we got it. So let me put a carrot here. So yeah, I cannot find that thing to save my life. I, I don't even know what to say. Um, I've got some little registration marks here. I don't think I'm really going to need them, so I'm not going to use them this time. If you do want to use them, you can put a little piece of blue tape, that um, painter's tape, underneath and chalk that. But I think it's going to line up pretty nicely. So we're going to go in with the dark first. And I'm using papaya. It's okay, Annie. You're so sweet. You're so good to me. Um, I'm just wondering where the heck it is. Anybody has <laughs> run into a very tiny jar of uh, red ink? I'm missing one. All right, so this is a tiny area. I'm also going to get my green ready because I want to do the, the little sprigs coming out of the top of the carrot. So that I'm going to be using. This is called mint green, but we have one called eucalyptus that is very close. Um, I just don't have any in stock right now. So I'm going to use that one. Either way, it'll look really nice. I'm just avoiding getting it on the registration marks right now. Okay, there's that one. And then I'm going to go in in the eucalyptus on the tops of the carrots, carrot tops. Yeah, I blended that a little bit. That's okay. Let me get a paper towel. And we're going to remove this super quickly and reposition it on the other side. So cute. All right, we'll put that one right about here. And we'll do it again. You can do this if you work really quickly. You don't want to have a dried paste on your um, your silk screen and try to reposition it. You just have to work pretty quickly. Get that, get her done. And we'll get a little bit of green on the top of this one and we'll dry it just a smidge. Okay. Da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, these are fun. I love projects like this, especially the three-dimensional ones. All right, I've got a little tiny speck of chalk paste right there where I didn't want it. I think I'm going to see if I have a Q-tip, so hold on. I have some right here. Okay, I'm literally sitting up on a pillow so I can fit at this table correctly. Thanks, Jan. All right, so I'm gonna take a Q-tip, just sprinkle a little bit of water on it. You don't want it soaking, just kind of a little tiny bit, and go in it, and you can erase that. Should be able to, yep, came right off. All right, now I'm gonna close up these jars while I am drying these. These are going to be so cute together. Then we're going to do the top layer of the carrot with the lighter orange, which is called orange peel. Let me just hit this with the dryer for a minute. All right, I'm just hoping that these line up the way I think they are. So if you didn't want to put carrots there, it also comes with a set of flowers that you could use on either side. That would look really sweet as well. Okay, we're gonna decorate our bunny. I don't know if we should use these or if we should use some ribbons and um, ribbons. I have some little tiny puffy, I don't know, I don't know what these are called, pom-poms? Little tiny pom-poms too that we might want to use. So let's get this layered. Hopefully it'll go on as easy as it should. Oh yeah, it lines up easy. You don't even need the registration marks if you don't want them. Okay. There, and here's our orange peel. It is just a bit brighter. It is a little 
tiny area. I'm going to find a small squeegee in here to do this with. You guys think I should use ribbon? Tracy says ribbon. I'll show you what else I have. So I'm just taking a little bit of this orange peel, which is a little drier than I like it. But since it's a tiny area, I'm not going to mess around and try to thin it out much at all. Okay. Yep, that looks good. And then we'll do it again over here. A little harder to see through the second time. But I think we've got it. So how many of you guys already have this transfer from last year? I did a few classes with it. It was really fun. We did them on a chalkboard, I believe. So this is just a different way to use that transfer. And there's our cute little carrots. So cute. this up closer for you guys to take a closer peek. Look how adorable that looks. Carrots look awesome. Thanks for your help. All right, so we're going to do a little bit on the back of that bunny and then decorate him with some, him or her, I guess it's a her, she's wearing pink today. <laughs> Not you, Annie? It was before your time, right? Maybe it was two years ago. I don't remember, but I remember doing, I don't know if Charlene's watching, but we did a class in her um, hair salon one night and had, she had a bunch of her friends over and we all made little bunnies. It was really fun. Shock all over the table. Let's clean that up a little. Okay, so as I was saying, you could stack these. It will stand on top of here if you want it to, like so. Or you can have them completely separate and they make a nice coordinating set. Okay, so let's get this bunny flipped over and we're gonna do something a little bit different on the back. I am going to use um, a really large transfer. This is called Mini Buffalo Plaid. You've probably seen me use this before. I've used it a lot. I'm gonna be sure that you can see how this works. I'm actually gonna put the bunny underneath the transfer so I don't have to peel the whole thing up. I'm just going to peel it back. This is an 18 by 18 inch transfer. I'm going to put my bunny on here. We'll just lay this on the top. I want to be sure that it's kind of straight. I could either do it really wonky. Maybe I will do it really wonky. I kind of like that look. All right, we're going to do it on the diagonal. Do you think I should do this in pink again, or should I use a different color like that mint green? What do you think? Since it's on the back side, I kind of feel like I should do pink. Yes, you did use them on the pumpkins. Yeah, this, these um, transfers that are good for the backgrounds, we have a few new ones too. There's like animal prints and there's a floral. I'm trying to think what the other ones are. We have so many new transfers just this month that I can't even keep track. All right, get that down nice and tight. Okay, we got two votes for mint, one for pink. <laughs> okay, looks like we're gonna do mint. All right, we're gonna do mint. No worries. Sorry, Tracy, you are overruled. Your tribe has spoken. All right, I'm gonna thin this out just a little bit. When I'm working on a tiny little project like I did with the carrot, I don't really worry about it being the perfect consistency. But this one's going to be a little bit larger, a larger space that I'm taking up. So I want it to be nice and creamy, dreamy. So what I just did was I added a little bit of distilled water to the jar and I'm stirring it really well to get all of those incorporated. You want it to be about the consistency of cake batter or if you prefer sour cream, yogurt. <laughs> 
Personally, I like cake batter. It just, I don't know, it just seems nicer. <laughs> okay, that's better. All right, so I'm gonna go in and get a small squeegee. Now, one of the things I'm gonna warn you about is when you are doing, um, when you when you tuck an item underneath your transfer like I just did in order to, co um, to cover that surface, be really careful that you don't stretch your transfer to push down any edges on it because it will distort your transfer and it will be super hard to use if you try to do it again because you could then put the flowers on top of it. Yes, ma'am. All right, here we go with our creamy, dreamy green. And I'm just gonna spread this all over the bunny. You can see right through it so you kind of know where you need to be. So this transfer, and actually all of our buffalo plaid transfers, have a tendency to not look perfect when you're done. And it's okay, it is the way that it is meant to be used. It is supposed to look kind of rustic and I don't wanna say grungy, but it's not supposed to look like a perfect pattern like something you bought in the store. So don't worry if it, if it doesn't look perfect, mine rarely does rarely okay so scraping off the excess this is gonna be so cute I love pink and green together okay I also try to get most of the lines out sometimes your squeegee will leave lines and you want to try to get those out if you can all right we are ready to pull the transfer off and see what this side looks like <laughs> ah, it's darling it's super cute good call you guys with the mint green I love it love 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 all right let's put that to the side for now let's put it down here look how sweet it is I'm gonna uh, dry that up a little bit Now, if you are talented, you could draw a little face and a nose on there. I'm not going to mess with it. I like it like this. Nope, Cindy, it never does. This isn't either. If you look closely, you'll see that I have a couple spots that don't look perfect, and I'm okay with that. Absolutely could do both sides of this sign too if you wanted to. So just so you just so you understand, this is not the bunny cutout that you're going to find in my website. Um, they are also on the boat. <laughs> We're trying to get them in, but this is one that I hand cut, so you won't be able to purchase this on my website. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see these guys. This both on both sides. So here's the green side, and then we turn it over, and we've got this cute little bunny. Okay, all right, let's play with some ribbons and stuff. Okay, you need the transfer? Jan, do you want just the transfer or do you want the bunnies too? The, there's, some, there's a couple bundles listed in the description of this video. All right, so I have got this little cute pom-pom stuff. I'm not sure how that's gonna show up on this side, but maybe on this side better, yeah, for sure. For sure and I've got some ribbon I'll show you what I have here this is like a light pink with white polka dots hard to see on this bunny I think I've got this little check which is sweet I kind of like that I have this one which is a little too orange for this this color and I also have a bright like a purpley pink color that we could use I'm kind of feeling the gingham Yes, the egg cutouts would look great with them. I have one set left. I was surprised those didn't come back this year. So the other thing that I have available right here is some tiny little pink flowers. Whoopsie. I have a few of these pink flowers and I also have some white ones. I don't know, I might just put a bow on this side 
and maybe we'll play with some other stuff on the other side. All right, let's see. I'm gonna tie a tiny bow if I can. As tiny as I can with this width. This is 5 eighths inch, which is a, maybe a little wider than I prefer it to be, but we'll see if we can make it work. It's gonna have to be pretty small and pretty sweet to look good on this bunny. What do you think? Sometimes the back of my bows look better than the front. Yep, it does. <laughs> what do you think of that? The pink check? Yep. Yeah. I agree. Okay. I think this is going to make it a little tiny bit smaller. I don't want it to fall into his face too far. Her. It's pink bunny. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right, so I'm going to grab my scissors and we'll cut some tails here. So to make tails, you're going to fold your ribbon in half. And from the outer edges, you cut up into the fold. So just like so. Like that. Yeah, that's cute, you guys. So cute. Okay, so Jan, you want kit number one. Number one for Jan. So the transfers that I have um, that I use are on their way in. I they're ordered. They're in the states actually. Ah, now they're not the same length. Um, so I should be getting those within the next week or so. I will uh, absolutely let you know when your bundles are ready, Miss Jan and Cindy. Jan and Cindy, sounds like the Bradys are here. What do you think? Leslie, you want a bundle too? Okay, I have uh, five altogether, five bundles. I do have more of the cutouts if you already happen to have the transfer. But I can't get any more of the transfers, I'm afraid. All right, I'm going to glue that in place. Do you think we need any of these? No, I don't like them on there. Okay. Answer my own questions. How's that? I'm just going to put a little dollop of glue on the back here. I'm going to put it a little bit lower so that it doesn't get in the way of his little face. Her. Keep saying that. This is so sweet, you guys. She's so cute. I love it. All right, now we get to play with the other side. That's okay, Annie. So you'll get you want the cutouts and the transfer, correct? If you're getting bundle number one, you get the transfer. All right, so let's go to this side. Should we, oh, I don't want to stick with a, the same ribbon. I was thinking I would, but I don't want the plaid with the plaid. I can't be doing that. So maybe the soft pink would be nice. What do you think of that one? I like the pink check. I just don't like it on the, the plaid body. It's, it's lots of check. All right, so the only other one that I have is this color right here. That's kind of pretty, too. Is that too much? I guess it's not really soft looking like the other side. So, I think I'm going to go with the polka dot. Yeah, that, that doesn't match the other side. It's got to all match, right? Okay, so let's think about this maybe, though. That would be adorable. I'm going to see if I can tie that into the bow somehow. We'll do some polka dot. This is a light, light pink. It's really pretty. It's a smaller width too, so it doesn't take up quite as much space. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. Kathy, you speak in my language. 
All right, let's trim that down, and then we'll see if we can get this incorporated into it. Yeah, I like them. All right, so let me cut a piece of this off. I think what I'll do is I will just glue it down and then curl it or twist it or trim it down a little further. All right, just a little dab of glue on that. Right about here. So do you guys all use a glue gun? Because I just learned about the coolest thing that you can get. I heard the, the Dollar Tree has them. They're these little pink finger covers. You probably have heard of these before, but I hadn't. Little pink finger covers that you can put on your hand so that you can press down without worrying about burning yourself. If you've ever burnt your, your hand with a glue gun, you'll understand why those could be a cool thing to have. I gotta get some. All right. So here's my thought. We're going to put this on top. Yeah, it's really sweet. It's very soft looking. Very pretty. Cut that little point. And then the same over here. So hard, it's hard to hold it so tiny. All right. So, I'll put another little dot of glue there. So, if you guys are watching and you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. Put that back. Yeah, I gotta go get myself some of those little finger covers. So, these little pom pom y things, I'm just gonna kind of curve them. a cute little accent on there. Think we need anything else? No, I don't like the white flowers. Oh, thank you, Gianna. I don't know if I do anything special. I just tie a little bow. Do we need any flowers on here? Or is it going to be too busy? Maybe just one in the middle. Oh, Why not? You bought some of those, they come in a three pack. I put one on the end of a new cheap toothbrush. Works great. Oh, that's very smart. So you're not pushing, you're pushing things down with your toothbrush? Is that what you mean, Kathy? I feel like my glue gun is on its last legs. I have had it for years. Yeah, I like the little pink flower too. All right, let's hold this one up. So you can see how that looks. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think? So there's the second side that we did, and here is the first side. They're both so stinking cute. All right, let's put the sign in. Got to pull it all together. Okay. So here's the green on the board on the sign. Let me back up a little bit here. There we go. So there it is on the green side. And here it is on the pink side. Which side do you like better? What's your favorite side? The green side or the pink side? I can't decide. I like them both. So any of our textured um, transfers, our background surfaces, will, transfers will look great on this. So cute. So let me know if you guys, if you are uh, getting a kit and you would like extra bunnies, let me know. I can make more bunnies for you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Kathy likes the mint. One well, vote for the mint. One for the pink. Two for the pink. Green. <laughs> it's a tie. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So, you guys, I just wanted to mention that. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Um... Up there in the description of this live, you will see um, kit one and kit two. One includes a transfer, one does not include the transfer. Um, I have free pickup if you live locally to the Agawam, Massachusetts area, or I can ship them to you for an extra charge. I do try to keep my shipping costs as low as possible, so I'll do my best for you there. Um, if you are interested in a starter kit and would like to 
um, consider becoming a designer on my team. I would love to share that with you. Let me grab a little uh, image. This right here. Right here. This is actually what comes in our, our startup kit. You get um, an 8-in chalkboard. You get a board and base. You get chalkable chips. You get a whole bunch of cute transfers, including the ones I used last night. Um, you get thank you cards and chalk paste. All kinds of things for $100. So you definitely want to take a peek at that. And... Hello. I did. I fed her. Thank you. Fed the dog. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Or if you're interested in being in our club where you can get um, our exclusive transfer, three chalk face singles, instructions on how to make a beautiful project, reduced shipping, free catalogs, all kinds of perks, sales all the time, um, just put club in the comments and I'll get you some information. So I'm just going to hold this up again so you can see it all together it will stand up right on top of there it's so cute i'll show you the other side too since it was a tie we don't know which one we like better there you go there's the green one i can't even tell you which one i like best i like them both so personalize them make them your own Thank you so much for watching tonight. If you have any questions or would like to check out my website, here it is at the bottom right below here. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in there and share my video. Um, and I will be back again tomorrow. I have a really fun project and it's a kitchen project. So be sure to tune in. Have a great night and we'll see you again soon. Bye.